Hi guys, so this video is going to be a back to school inspired makeup video and everything in this video, the title of all the makeup in this video comes to under £20. So I guess you could say this is kind of like a £20 makeup challenge as well and I just wanted to do a kind of drugstore, everyday, easy makeup look to inspire some of you guys if you are going back to school or college or you just want something to wear on a kind of everyday basis that is really affordable and isn't going to break the bank. And this video is also in collaboration with my friend Nadine on YouTube her channel is called Nadine Clark and I will link it down below I'll put a little picture of her on the screen and she's also going to be doing a back to school inspired video so head over to her channel check out her video if you like her videos make sure you subscribe while you're over there she is so gorgeous she has the most amazing hair her makeup always looks on fleek and I think you guys will really enjoy her channel so make sure you head over there after you've watched this video also I don't know if you can notice I did something slightly different with my hair I tried to tone it kind of silverish but it's just still a bit patchy um, and I put silver shampoo like all over my hair and left it for ages and it kind of turned the ends a little bit more purple than pink. Please ignore the fact that my hair is super patchy. I tried to dye it kind of silvery yesterday and some parts haven't taken so it's a bit kind of all over the place so I do apologise. Also I'm not having the greatest of skin days today. I'm not too sure what's going on but I've just got some massive volcanoes on my face. So I'm going to start off with the New Look Pure Colour Foundation. This is £4.99. This is the most expensive item out of this whole video. So I'm just going to put this all over my face. I mentioned before that I do actually really like this foundation. I think it's a really good like everyday foundation. Not too heavy so I think it would be perfect for school or college or whatever or just a kind of everyday makeup look. It is so warm in my room right now. So this is what the foundation looks like. As you can see, it has a pretty decent coverage. Like, it definitely toned down the redness of my spots and stuff. But I am going to put a bit of concealer on as well. So the concealer that I have is the PS Concealer, which is the Primark Concealer. And as you guys know, I've done a lot of testing different makeup brands videos. A lot of the stick concealers are a pound. And out of all of the ones that I've done, the Primark Stick Concealer is my favourite. I just think it gives the best coverage. A lot of them didn't have that great coverage. But this one actually has a pretty decent coverage and I think this was 90p it could have been a pound it was either 90p or a pound but I have factored it in as a pound into the price um, but I think it might have actually been 90p when I got it now this isn't my favorite concealer but obviously if you had a bit of a more kind of big budget for your makeup then I would definitely recommend getting the collection concealer but that one is £4 and obviously this one is a pound so I wanted to get everything in this video under £20 and then I'm going to blend it out with my fingers. This concealer will probably be better for dry skin because it is quite oily. But I think you could still make it work as long as you powder it if you do have oily skin like me. I'm going to set my entire face using the PS Loose Face Powder. And this is £2. I actually really like this face powder. I think it does a really good job. I personally prefer loose powders over pressed powders. That's just a personal preference of mine. But I thought this was only £2. And I actually think it's really good for £2. So I'm going to be using this all over my face. Oh, that's all gone down my neck. So as you can see, that did a very good job of mattifying my skin, but I have made a massive mess. It's all over my pyjamas. Okay, so moving on to my eyebrows. I was going to be using an eyebrow pencil, which is the Miss Beauty London eyebrow pencil in the shade number two blonde. This is a pound. I think it is a really decent eyebrow pencil for the price. You can get this in Pound World, I believe, and it's a really good color as well for blonde hair. But I couldn't fit that into my price range if I wanted to include one of these eyeshadow palettes. So I thought I would include the eyeshadow palette and use it for my brows as well. I have a few here to recommend, but obviously I'm only going to be using one of them. These are the MUA eyeshadow palettes. I have another three in my drawer, but these ones were the best ones that are kind of the most versatile if you want to use it on your brows as well. So I have the matte palette which has 10 matte shades. I then have the Undress Me 2 palette which is a dupe for the Naked 2. This one is gorgeous as you can see I've used it a lot. Um, but the one that I'm actually going to be using today just because I don't think I've ever used this in a video before is the Hall of Fame palette and these palettes are only £4 so they are an absolute bargain. So I'm going to be taking this shade here on my eyebrows. And the brush I'm using is actually the brush from Claire's because I really really like using it for my brows. 
So that is the eyebrows done and obviously I know that a lot of people when you're going to school you're not really allowed to wear eyeshadow or kind of crazy heavy makeup but I know that some people also are like if you're going to college and if you do want to wear eyeshadow on a kind of daily basis I thought I would just do a super kind of natural eye makeup look just in case any of you guys do want to wear eyeshadow so I'm actually going to be taking that same colour again and I'm going to be running this through my crease. So I'm then just taking this colour here which is like a really gorgeous shimmery kind of champagne colour and I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. And this is just a kind of super easy quick natural eye look. And the quality of these eyeshadows are actually so good considering they're only £4. And then taking some of the colour that I used in my crease and I'm going to run this along my lower lash line as well. I know that a lot of my looks recently have been really kind of neutral colours but I promise you guys I have some colourful ones coming up. And then just taking a tiny little bit of this slightly darker brown shade here and I'm going to put that on my outer V. Okay, so that is all I'm going to do for the eyeshadow, just literally using two or three colours, super simple, super quick and super easy. So for my eyeliner, I'm using the Cubis Liquid Eyeliner, which is a pound, and obviously you guys will have seen this in my testing Asda makeup video. Again, out of all of the kind of testing makeup videos that I've done, this is the cheapest. I just dropped the eyeliner under my bed and I have no idea where it's gone. I can't actually see it, so I'll be back in maybe like half an hour. So I just had a massive nightmare. I dropped the part of my eyeliner and it rolled all the way under my bed. And I just spent the past literally like 20 minutes trying to look for it, trying to like get my arm under the bed. We had to move my whole bed out. My room is really messy, so it was really hard to move my bed out. And now I'm just really stressed out and I don't feel like finishing a video because I'm so stressed. And I feel like my makeup is now sweating off. The formula isn't my favorite, but it's definitely like it works. Like the brush is really nice, but I'm still a bit kind of shaky and stressed. So I apologize that my eyeliner is not perfect. Okay, so for my mascara, I've got the Natural Collection lash build mascara and again i got this in one of my testing videos this is at one pound 99 so i'm just gonna put quite a few coats of this on this is actually a really nice mascara i used to buy the collection mascaras all the time when i was at school for 1.99 this mascara is amazing i've just got to go and clean up this mistake i'm then moving on to my face and i'm using the revolution makeup revolution ultra sculpt and contour kit in the shade ultra fair and this is £3.50 currently on the website so I'm just going to use all of these obviously I'm using the bronzer first and again like I'm saying like I said before obviously for school a lot of people do not wear this much makeup I don't even wear this much makeup on like a daily basis but I know that a lot of people like to so I've just thought I would kind of give options for everyone in this video and still try and fit in as much as I could into the £20. Okay so that's just giving me a bit of colour and then going to use the blush which is a really pretty kind of pinky goldy shimmery colour. That blush actually gives like a tiny bit of glow which is quite cool um, but obviously I'm not going to skip out the highlighting step and then going to use the highlighter in the middle. This highlighter is actually really nice. I really recommend this kit. I think it's great for 350. So the final stage is the lips, and I believe up until this point I have maybe like £1.50 left to spend. Um, so for my lips, I'm using this Promark lipstick, which again I think is either 80 or 90p. This is a really pretty kind of nudish mauvey berry colour, and I just think this is a really pretty kind of everyday colour, and obviously it's super cheap, so if you are on a tight budget, this is a really good one to go for. It's kind of like a my lips but better colour. Okay, so that is the finished kind of £20 makeup challenge, back to school, everyday kind of makeup routine. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I also want to say thank you guys so much for 80,000 subscribers. Like, ah. I also just want to say thank you if you guys voted for me in the I Am Freedom competition. I made it into the top 10, which is like the best news ever. I woke up this morning and my mum was like, so you made it into the top 10 and all of you guys were like tweeting me and I'm just so super grateful. Thank you guys so much if you voted for me. There is now one more round left to go and then it gets knocked down to top five. And if I make it into the top five, I get to go to the live final in London. So stay tuned for my video, which will be for the next round. Also make sure you guys head over to Nadine's channel, check out her video because she is such a lovely girl. Also if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, obviously I would love 
love it if you would subscribe. If you're from Nadine's channel, then hi. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Good luck if you're going back to school soon and I will see you in my next video. Bye.